comic book community. What is up? This is Lombok's Love Affair here. Happy Free Comic Book Day 2023. Uh, today, I don't usually do a whole lot for comic book Free Comic Book Day because it, it often is just the free comic books and you can get those uh, at any point and my shop puts those aside for me, the ones that I, um, I collect. That said, uh, there have been more and more events in my area, in the Metro DC area, that have popped up around Free Comic Book Day. And this one I went to today was no exception. And I left with a short box. So I'm short box love affair today. I left with a short box of books for $273. All these books. And I tell you, the keys I found in this at, at the store, at the shop, was crazy. So let me get into the story and I'm going to show just a portion of these books today. Okay, so this morning I walked the dog, I got myself ready and got up to Crofton, Maryland, which is between Annapolis and Washington, D.C. And there's a store there that frankly has probably some of the best back issue section in the whole um in the whole metro dc area it's to be continued comics so definitely a group uh, a, a store a group of guys that you should check out great back issues they do some conventions uh, the local conventions that i go to and talk about they are at some of those uh and i've i found some great books over the, over the years i discovered them just a couple years ago in the middle of the pandemic they may only have been open that long so To Be Continued Comics has started doing these unprocessed stock sales, meaning the boxes that they're pulling out have not been combed through. They have not seen the light of day for their store stock and their free game. And this particular store also opened an annex just um, in the same building above them. Uh, you have to go up around the corner to get to it, but it had tables upon tables of uh, lawn boxes and empty boxes because they were putting things in each other and so everything in that room was one to three dollars no matter what they did say that they put in some keys here or there uh 50 to 100 dollar books uh i think i found some really great stuff i'd love to know what the keys were that they they picked uh and what other things were there because i definitely want to know what people had found or if they hadn't found them yet so that said i have books that cost me a dollar two dollars and three dollars and i think today's video i'm going to really focus on just the dollar portion which is actually the smallest portion uh which is quite all right so the way that this uh sale worked up as you what worked out is you went to the counter and they basically created three piles and so i'm going to show the dollar books but i'm going to tell you these dollar books are crazy like these are not dollar books. If, if you go to any convention, if you find these in the dollar bins, you score them right away. So I'm going to show these books off and tell you a little bit about them and we'll go from there. So there's absolutely no rhyme or reason to the books I'm going to show you because there was no real um, organization. It was really a bargain basement type of feeling and everyone was in there digging. Uh, people were shouting out at various points like, anyone looking for this or anyone looking for that? I found it. So uh, yeah, so these are the dollar books I picked up, and there's about 33 or so. Uh, the first one I'll show you, uh, is Fantastic Four 66. Now, it is a beater. It is not near mint. It's got a cut out here, uh, which is unfortunate. But it's the lead-in to the Adam Warlock, uh, introduction. The, the hive, I think, the beehive, is, uh, uh, the, the scientist of that created Adam Warlock. So this is crazy classic Jack Kirby um, goodness here. So for a buck, hey, it's a dollar. This book is not a dollar book normally. I also found this book, a Spider-Man Adventures number one. It's the foil. Uh, why did I pick this up? This is why I picked this up. New stand goodness. Super hard to find new stand, I believe. Now keep in mind, I'm not researching every little thing at this shop. I am pulling things that I know uh, are things I want in my collection or that have, have value that I that are value added to my collections. And you know, maybe someday I'll sell them, maybe at some point sooner or later, but most of these um, have some sort of connection to my collection. Uh, it does have a little tick here. It's, it's a harder cover. We've got the foil, but the newsstand, that is why I picked this one up. 
I shoved this into my box uh, when uh, I found it, but I, I do see it as has some wear, so of course a dollar is appropriate. It's a new stand of a Peter Parker Spectacular Spider-Man 100. It's got the spot, which is the uh, character that is going to be in the um, new Spider-Verse animated movie that's coming out any month now, in the next month or so. Uh, so pick this up. I also found the precursors to this uh, that might be in the pile here or in a future, in the $2 or $3 pop, dial, dollar pile. I've been looking to bring this book back into my collection, Captain America 321. Really nice copy, new stand there, nice Mike Zek. Got Captain America with a gun. What the heck? Pretty cool. I don't think I have this, so I, I definitely wanted to pick this up. Incredible Hulk and Wolverine, number one. I believe this reprints the first uh, first appearance of, of Wolverine. I'm not quite sure. I, I do want to investigate that. Another Captain America is Captain America 254, uh, Baron Blood. This is, um, I think Union Jack is in this, so I'm going to take a look. But it's a cool cover. They had a couple versions of this. I think I only picked up one. Uh, newsstand, really nice condition. Uh, for some reason, I like this book. I like this cover. I don't know much more about it, but oh, there, there we go, Union Jack. Next one is Secret Warriors number six. Very nice book there. Then I also picked up Secret War Zero, two of them. And a nice Alex Ross cover. This is uh, the free comic book day version, uh, but I believe this is the first appearance of Nadia Pym. So really cool book there. Hey, for a buck, this next book is killer. Secret Avengers 23, the first Agent Venom. I used to find this book pretty affordably, even though it was a $20, $25 book. Uh, I love this book. It's Art Adams. I think I still have a slab signed by him. Uh, it was like a 9-8. Uh, I like the second print as well. But um, yeah, just definitely love an Agent Venom. Amazing Spider-Man 241. I thought I missed out on picking this up until just a second ago looking through the stack. So really excited to pick up. Uh, this is a Frank Miller, I believe. Frank Miller cover. No, no, no. Apologies. J.R.J.R. J. R., John Romita Jr. And uh, I think this is the origin of the Vulture. This one goes for a little money. Early in my hunting, I found... Magnus Robot Fighter number 12. There's a lot of Valiant, but this was one of the only pre-Unity one I found. Uh, and this is the uh, first appearance of Turok, Turok Dinosaur Hunter. Uh, this was a book that I bought back in the day, back in the early 90s for 50 bucks because it was exploding and hard to find. I love this book. It has such a sense of nostalgia. You can still find this at conventions for 20 bucks. So for a dollar, yes. Speaking of Turok, I picked up issue number 47. It's the final issue of that run. Uh, for a period of time, I was picking up all the final issues. And, okay, it is a direct edition. It does have a barcode, but it says direct. Uh, it is a harder one to find because towards the end, when Valiant was acquired by Acclaim Comics at the, in the mid-90s, they were not as popular. So there wasn't a huge print run. Stormbreaker. We got some Thor excitement. It's the only one I found of this. Uh, early appearance, if not the first, of a Herald of Galactus, I believe. So excited to have this in the collection. I don't own this currently. It's a lot of buzz about Galactus and his Heralds in the MCU. We'll see what happens. I think it's some, way, some ways away, but uh, hey, be prepared. You know when you're looking in a box and you hope that they have the sequential order still in place and someone didn't pillage the one book you're looking for. So Batman Superman, number 13, the cool Michael Turner cover, number 12, need a little rebag here, number 11, number 10, which is the uh, Jim Lee cover I love, number nine, Another Michael Turner. And they had it. Number eight. First appearance of Kara. Uh, this is the new Supergirl, current Supergirl, uh, that uh, everyone was looking for as part of the, um, the new Flash movie, right? Yeah, the new Flash movie, which actually looks really good. Uh, really nice copy. It does not look bent up in any way. So I, I lucked out with a condition on these. And then I kept on finding other partial sets of this, but not the number eight that I just showed you. 
Also picked up Silver Surfer's number 69 on the Galactus Herald train. Uh, this is the first appearance of Morg, who turns into uh, the devious Herald of Galactus. This is issue 70. I'm sorry, that's it, 71. Uh, that's Morg on the cover, probably his first cover. This is issue 70. So it, these are all like previews of Morg before he becomes the Herald of Galactus. I really like the character. The character was pretty killer. The full set of Sin City, The Dame to Kill For, so I just picked up issue number one. I was that person. I disrupted the set. I am sorry. Also found just towards the end a series of moderns, uh, modern variants that I thought were pretty cool. Second print, third prints. Uh, so Amazing Spider-Man 698. Uh, this is the second print. Yep, second printing. Uh, 699, second printing. Who did the cover art for that? Rivera. Uh, also, I've never seen this one before, so I was excited. Uh, Nova 18, the zombie variant. You don't see this book a whole lot, so um, a zombie variant of that, that's pretty cool. And then Nova 20, it's the villain variant, the 1 in 10 villain. You got the Sphinx. Love this cover. I've seen this once before. Someone posted it on Instagram, so I was happy to find it in the wild. I was shocked to find this next one. Amazing Spider-Man 797, the Virgin Young Guns variant for Aaron Cooter. This was a dollar. Again, a dollar. I remember seeing this book up to $75 for a time period. I think it's since cooled off. But I have two copies of this. I have a 9.8 and I have an ungraded. So now I have a third. It's one of my favorite Spider-Man covers, actually. I love the negative space. Uh, I love Aaron Cooter's artwork. Uh, I would love to get him to do a remark on this, actually. So uh, this is a, a really cool find for me in a dollar bin. Back on the Captain America train, we got the super cool Michael Zeck, Mike Zeck, two, uh, Captain America 286 newsstand. It is Deathlock in his sights. I. I think I might have owned this once and never read it. I'm looking forward to reading this and checking this out a little bit more. I brought Aquaman back into my life. Not even just Aquaman, but the newsstand. And so I sold the newsstand a couple of years ago and it went for like 40, 50 bucks. And I was shocked uh, because the regular versions does not go for that. So this is a harder find one and it is in really nice condition. It is Aquaman Zero. It's from the zero hour time in like 1994. Yep, 1994. I remember that. Sam Wilson, Captain America number one. For a dollar. Yeah, all day. Get ready. Avengers Academy number one, the second print. Uh, they had two of these. I saw them in two different areas. I left the other ones. Uh, so I, I picked up this one. I picked up, uh, originally I picked up two of this particular book and I put one back because it was pretty beat. West Coast Avengers 21. Uh, this is the nicer of the two. The other one was a newsstand, but it was beat. Uh, it is Moon Knight joining the Avenger, West Coast Avengers. Really nice black cover. The spine's great. And with these black covers, you never know. Annihilation Prologue number one, one of my favorite storylines in Marvel Comics, in modern mo Marvel Comics, is this reintroduction of Nova, Silver Surfer, and all the comic characters that we now know and love that are hopefully entering the MCU. But I think that is in tribute to Annihilation, Guardians of the Galaxy, all of that fun stuff. Also picked up this really nice copy of a Captain America 260, the one that was homage during the Marvel Legacy time where they did like a lenticular. Really cool cover there, cap behind bars, iconic, and the blue really pops. Light blue, you don't really see that on covers. I found the next two books at the end of my shopping. I was hunting for three hours. I couldn't believe it. I needed to get home, walk the dog, all that fun stuff, uh, but have lunch uh, and refuel. But these books were still there uh, after people had like gone through the bins. And my strategy was I walked in, people were already hunting. There were two levels below that you had to pull the boxes out. And so I started doing that. I started digging into those boxes because I knew they were probably a little untouched by, by people looking for comics. And so that was where I went. I, my goal is to look where someone else has not looked before and found the goodies. So I found this Young Avengers special, number one. It's not the number one price, that, you know, but I think this book goes for a little bit of money. Uh, you know, at least 10 bucks, maybe even 20. I can't remember exactly. But good Young Avengers book. I, I, every time I see this, I pick it up. It is the last that was released in that run. And the last book I'm going to show you is 
in my opinion, one of the creepiest books I've ever seen. Uh, I've always thought it's creepy, but it is a number one. It is a Jack Kirby. It is Omac. It's creepy because that girl's in that box. I don't know why she's in that box. I know that's her character. Uh, I don't think it even says it on the cover, but I know that's part of the character, but it's it's this Omac character. It's part of the New Gods, um, you know, time when Jack Kirby left Marvel and was working for DC. So to find this for a dollar, why not? Why not? Um, so it was cool to pick this one up. So I'm going to stop there because I have two more sections and they are even bigger than this section. I have $2 books and then $3 books. And like I said, I spent $273 on this whole haul. At the end of this series, you can validate one way or another if you feel that was a good expense. I think it was an amazing expense. Uh, they got Thank you to the guys at, at To Be Continued for doing this type of sale. I, I think that it, it was my first time coming out. I didn't know what to expect. Not my first time coming out to the shop, but for this type of event. And so I will definitely be back uh, to, to do some hunting uh, when, when, when they have these sales and when they don't have these sales. So check them out if you're in the area. But if you're new to the channel, subscribe. You'll get notices when I post these next two videos. And it also helped me get to the 6,000 subscriber mark. I have just been hovering because I have not been a good YouTuber and not been posting that much. So thanks for bearing with me. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you all had a, a great free comic book day. And I will see you very shortly for the $2 books. Bye-bye.